Good morning. Good evening. What you're hearing now is the Crystal Radio Sound Boy Station in the AM channel. I'm going to show you how to make this back loop radio. You can make it to stand like a cross, and if you are close to the window, you can even hang it、uh, beside your window. Facing the broadcasting station. To design an AM crystal radio, we need to first choose the band and frequency range we need to support. Then we need to choose the tuning method, either vary the inductance or vary the capacitance. In this project, we will vary the capacitance, so we will need to choose which variable capacitor we are going to use. Based on the value of the variable capacitance, calculate the inductance. Then we can make the coil according to the inductance. And finally, connect the circuit up with solder iron and do some testing. To design a radio, a crystal radio, the first step is to consider what frequency range you need to tune your radio to. So we can look at this website. For AM broadcast radio, is 535 kilohertz to 1605 kilohertz. It's the circuit diagram for a very simple radio. The frequency is determined by the value of the coil, the inductance L, and the value of the capacitor, the capacitance C. So the formula for that is frequency equals to one over two pi times square root of L and C. We can either fix the L, the inductance, and vary the capacitor using a variable capacitor to achieve tuning. Or in the very old days when capacitors, variable ones, are expensive, people. Created variometer, which is variable inductance. They vary the inductance of the coil by different means to achieve tuning、uh, with a fixed capacitor. This is a variometer. It works by rotating a forward ring or half of a turret in and out of the coil. So you can see, I've connected the inductance meter. The range of the inductance vary from a very small 11 microhenry to the very big 455 microhenry. So by
pf to the minimum of 9 pf. So this one may be more usable for the soft wave radio tuning. Okay, next let's look at uh, this long variable capacitor with three gains. So that means three separated Okay, so let's test the capacitance. Because the handle is made of metal, so when I touch it, the capacitance will increase more than it should be. So I'll need to not touch that when we need to reach the value of the capacitance. Okay. From 21 pf maximum down to 4.5 pf minimum. This is a very high quality butterfly variable capacitor, good for FM crystal radios. It has no moving connection, so very low loss. There's two fixed plates separated apart, like two triangles, and then there's a butterfly wing shaped rotating parts. Then we'll try to couple the capacitance in between these two separated parts to create a variable capacitor required. This is another AM variable capacitor commonly found in the previous vacuum tube radios. Uh, 
I'm going to use this small variable capacitor for this project because I need to fit it into a small box. So let's measure the capacitance of the AM gain. So we start with the minimum of 15 PF to the maximum of 283 PF. So if you type we will tie both gangs together to form uh, 560 PF. This website allows you to calculate the resonance frequency, what coil and what capacitance will be required. So we already know we have a capacitance of 280 roughly. So it's 560 for two gangs together. And we need to start with a low frequency as low as 535 kilohertz. So let's click calculate, and the resulted inductance is 158 micro Henry. And let's test if this coil, 158 micro Henry, coupled with the smallest capacitance of 60 pf, whether it can serve the highest frequency of the broadcast range. So the resulted frequency is 1600 kilohertz which is much higher than the broadcast frequency so I think uh, this coil will work for us let's go to this website to see how many turns we need for our coil I'll put a link at the description so we click on the centimeter single layer coil Then we need to input our diameter of the coil, which is 100 centimeter, one meter, and the length, which is the teeth on the comb that we want to wind our coil against, which is five centimeter. That means from the first turn to the last turn. Then let's click calculate. So the resulting coil inductance is 159 microhenry which is a bit more than what we need, 158 something, but it's a perfect match. But again, this is only approximation. Once we wind up the coil, we need to measure with the LC meter again to make sure we add or remove turns as required. If you don't want to make such a big coil, you can put in your own size, like 40 cm diameter. Uh, you need 15 turns of wires. Or 30 cm diameter, you need only 18 turns of wires. So I don't recommend anything smaller than 30 cm diameter, otherwise the coil will not be able to receive anything. Here is a 40 cm diameter coil that I built using a plastic briefcase. Now let me show you how to make the coil. You need uh, 20 millimeter PVC pipes. Those pipes are commonly used for electricity wiring and also some combs. These combs will be used to wire the coil. And then four T joints again for 20 millimeter PVC pipes. Uh, These four way joints it sometimes come in as a cross or this type of round shape. Uh, try to buy the round shape because we'll use the box inside to put in our circuit. So we have two long pipes. We are going to break it into 62 centimeter sections. We need four of them. To cut the pipes, you can use a shawl. But I have this two, which is a pipe cutter. It's very easy. Just adjust to the right position you want to cut. And then wind up the screw to make sure it's tight. And then just turn your pipe in circles and keep tightening the screws so that the blade cuts inside more and more until it's broken your pipe apart. So it works for plastic and also copper pipes. The good thing about this is you can put it together like a Lego and you can dismantle it very easily. Once completed, you can build a stand using a board. Like for people in China, we don't like having a cross 
vertically because it looks like somebody died, and we prefer to do this type of cross this way. The other benefit of this orientation is that the wire of the coil can closely touches the window, so we can get all the wireless signal. Next, we need to mount the combs onto the T joints. The teeth of the combs will be used to wind our coil, so we need to mount it securely. Uh, the idea is that the teeth of the combs will have the smallest surface area touches with the coil, such that the quality factor, the Q factor of the coil will be higher. Because if the wire touches the, the other materials, it may cause the signal loss. Uh, the different ratio of signal loss, the worst thing is, is paper, because it's moist and then glass, and then there's a material called PP, which is used for the chopping board used in the kitchen. Those white plastic-like ones, they are PP material, and they're very good for low-loss frames uh, for the coil. So when we make this, make sure the teeth, the open end of the teeth of the comb is pointing in opposite direction as the leg of the T, T joint, so that uh, we can wind the coil on the teeth of the comb. So we need four of these, and uh, all pointing the right position. Now let's mount the comb and the T joint onto the PVC pipe. So we'll mount it at the four ends of the four PVC pipes. This is how it looks when all four T joints have been mounted. To make a perfect coil, you need to use this type of list wire, L I T E Z. The reason to have this type of list wire is to fight the skin effect. We find that when an AC current, like that of a radio wave, travel on a wire, it will only use the outer surface of the wire instead of the core in the middle. The higher the frequency, the more it will be like so. Having thousands of tiny mini wires insulated by itself, it extends the amount of surface area that the high frequency wave can travel when compared to a single core copper of the same diameter. However, this type of list wire is only recommended for the broadcast range, that is the AM or medium wave range. When it goes up to soft wave or even to FM, it's not recommended because of the increase in the hidden capacitance of these thousands of wires that have coupling by itself and create its own capacitance. Alternatively, you can use regular electricity wire, like this one AWG 22.6 mm. Uh, my 0.6mm is measuring the conducting thread, not the rubber jacket. So I do, I, you can also look at the AWG24, which is 0.5mm. I do not recommend anything thinner than 0.5mm, otherwise uh, the signal loss will be big. So let's start winding the coil by just inserting the coil in between the teeth of the Calm. We want to skip one teeth so that we have enough separation between the first turn and the second turn and so on. So the, the bigger the gap between the threads, the higher the Q factor, the quality factor will be for the coil. Because if you put two coil wires, each turn and the second turn too close together, there will be an opposing electric field caused by the magnetic uh, field when a radio wave has been received so it will reduce the output of the coil so two turns of the same coil should be at least separated by a gap of one diameter of the thread used for the coil 
So now we are separating it by two diameters of the fret, which is very safe. The other side effect of separating the turns into bigger, wider gaps is that you will need to wind more turns and hence more wires need to be used for the same inductance. However, if you make them closer, the gap are closer, you will need less turn to get the same inductance. So you have the pros and cons. If you keep them closer together, less wire is required, less turns, but then the Q factor will be lowered. On the opposite side, if you make the gap too wide, too far apart, you will need more turns to make the same inductance, and hence more wires. Sometimes it will double up, double the length of the wires you will need. And also the longer the wires used, the higher the resistance of the wire. So it will sometimes not too good. Look at the winding from another angle. So you need to cut the wire into the teeth. Remember to skip one knot.
the hearing aid earbud or the earbud that I used, which is a red earbud, or you can switch it down to match the impedance with that of a 5K to 10K crystal earbud. Now let's look at the far left of the circuit diagram. We have a coil. Then we have the variable capacitor, VC, 540 PF. So the regular small radio variable capacitor comes with two gains. Each gain will have 270 PF. So we just need to hook them up in parallel so we can double up the capacitance to 540 PF. I'll show you how to do it in the video that follows. Now let's start mounting the variable capacitor into this lid for the box. First we need to drill a hole so that the shaft of the variable capacitor can pass through. Then we need to drill two small holes to find the screws for the variable capacitor. Now we mounted the variable capacitor to this lid with the knob. And then we mount our 3DQ crystal radio module through this hole that we just drilled. We just use the headphone jack screw to fix the circuit board in position. Then we need to prepare this connector for the coil. So first we put in three copper wires. Each one of them is one millimeter thick. We'll drill some holes to mount that onto the same lid. Fix the that in place using some screws. Let's check it out. So we have the variable capacitor knob turning freely, the earphone jack, and then the connector for the coil. One is ground, one is tap, one is hot. Next step, we just need to shoulder the wires into the crystal radio module. And it's done. So we have the crystal radio module connected to the variable capacitor and then that connects to the connector that we are going to use to connect to the coil. We'll use the marker to put some color onto the coil connector. The red for the hot side Blue for the cosine or the ground, and the white, no color one, is for the tap. We can route the thread through the PVC pipe, so it arrives at this little box, so we can mount the circuit. Used the marker to color the coil cable as well. So the blue is for the ground or the cold end, the red is for the hot end, we just make sure it's the same color as the connector. I've hung the coil next to my window. So this is how it looks. And optionally, you can be a stand and stand it on the floor. So here you have it, the completed crystal radio. One meter diameter square coil mounted next to a window. If you like this video, please click subscribe. I'm trying to go over 1000 subscribers. Please send it to your friends who can subscribe too. Thank you. Uh, you can continue to watch this video for the testing recorded. Thank you.
人排演的《红楼梦》选段。接下来这一段呢，讲的是薛宝钗来到贾宝玉房间，发现自己身上金锁的诗文和宝玉身上玉的诗文呢，二。